السلام علیکم پری نائن کلاس ہیئر از کمپیوٹر سائنس سمر ویکیشن ٹاسک فار پری نائن کلاس ایز یو کین سی دیٹ یور سمر ویکیشن ٹاسک از ڈیوائڈیڈ انٹو سکس ویک ایچ ویک ہیو نمبر آف ایکٹیویٹیز اینڈ ٹاسکس ان ایٹ یو ہیو ٹو لرن دا نمبر آف گیون ٹاپکس ان ایچ ویک اینڈ آفٹر لرننگ پروسیس یو ہیو ٹو ڈو سیلف اسیسمنٹ آف دیز ٹاپکس اف دیر از اینی ڈائیگرام آف اینی ٹاپک یو ہیو ٹو ڈرا دیز ڈائیگرامس آلسو You will use your computer science notebooks for that purpose. It means that for summer vacation tasks, you will use for your computer science notebook. After you complete the tasks and activities given in a week, you will color the box given right in front of that week. So in first week, the number of topics you have to cover is introduction of computer, input, output and evolution of computer. That means calculating devices. from a baker's to an electrical engine after you learn these topics you will do self assessment of these topics and will solve worksheet number 1 from the given topics you will make 10 blanks on your computer science notebook in second week you will complete rest of the calculating devices from hollow decks to mark 1 including the concept of cloud computing and its benefits also introduction to hardware software with example you will do self assessment of mark 1 slide rule and punch cards you can also do some search on punch card also you will make 10 mcqs of the given topics including the topic of punch card in third week you will cover generation of computers from first generation to fifth generation after completion of this task you will do self assessment and will complete worksheet number 2 now there is a activity that you will make three columns and fill these columns with specification of any three generation of your own choice in week 4 you will learn types of computer that is analog digital and hybrid computer will do self assessment and make neat diagram of these computers with pencil you can also color those diagrams and will solve worksheet number 3 also make 10 mcqs of these topics then in week 5 you will cover classification of digital computers will do self assessment and solve worksheet number 4 in 6th week learn all input devices do self assessment of all these input devices in detail along with their diagram and solve sheet worksheet number 5 there is an activity that you will draw three input devices of your own choice neatly and also draw bar code okay now uh, we have number of worksheet here in first worksheet you can see that there are multiple choices you will solve these multiple choices and In question number 2 there are four parts in which the first part is you will make a neat diagram of slide rule and also define its working. In second part in second part the question is that what do you think will happen if storage devices is removed from a computer? So you have to answer that what do you think if a storage device like hard disk or ram is removed from your computer then what will be happen? The third part is that you have to differentiate between input and output devices write any five differences then the fourth part is that why do you call motherboard as motherboard define properly why motherboard is called as motherboard you know what is meaning of mother so motherboard is known as mother of all boards why do you call it motherboard why is it so important next the worksheet number 2 is you have to answer these questions precisely what do you know about supercomputer write a note on supercomputer you have to differentiate between second and third generation of computer there should be minimum five differences c part is that what is why is it important to use output devices with your system what will happen if you do not use output devices with your system why output devices are important the third part sorry the fourth part is that you have to draw the diagram of motherboard on a colored paper neatly and label its all parts properly 
then you will paste this on your notebook in your third worksheet you have to answer that what is the use of computer in our daily life you will explain it in points the second part is that you have to name any four inner parts of computer and define each part in one line only you can take guide from first chapter and also can take help from google for example there are four blocks and you have to write four inner parts in each block along with its working in one line let's suppose ram ram is a inner part rest of three inner parts you will write in these boxes in third part you can see that there are diagrams and these diagrams are along with blanks you will fill these blanks with these words properly in this worksheet it's a very interesting worksheet you can see that there are five riddles written in these stars and the answer of these riddles are given in this puzzle you will solve these riddles by finding answer from this puzzle and write those answer in these blanks for example in first riddle what is it asking what can eat a lot of iron without getting sick wo aisi kya cheez hai jo ke zyada se zyada loha kha sakti hai lekin bimar nahi hoti so you will find its answer in the puzzle box and if you will see what is it it's rust r u s t rust so you will place that rust in first blank similarly you will solve the other riddles and put these answers in the given blanks the last worksheet is also very interesting you can see that there are number of blocks having numbers on it and you can see that their hints are present in this place for example i highlighted this place and its number is 5 what should i write in these boxes i will go in number 5 from here what is it saying it's saying that what's the abbreviation for compact disc the abbreviation of compact disc is cd so you will write the answer in this block which is labeled as number 5 last question is that write any five safety rules for using internet okay that's all for your summer vacation 